Hey everyone, welcome back to Deathmark! Oh my god! I don't really know exactly where I am. Um, it's really weird now I'm on the Switch, so <laughs> it's quite a change for me. Um, but let's see. I've got to move stuff for my cat. Hi, cat! Oh, you want to be on my left? That's okay. There he goes. Do -do 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 -do. But yeah, I haven't... Um, how long has it been since I played the episode 35? When did that come out? Long time ago. Um, the game came out when I was in LA on holiday. Um, and I'm also going to LA again next week. Um, so I'll record a couple episodes, hopefully a chapter, and then we'll see how far we are. I think just doing talk will take me... Mary isn't here anymore. Should I rest for today? Yes. That should probably end the chapter and then we're exactly where we were. Episode 35. I think that's where I left it off, if I remember correctly. Oh, big bus. Yeah, stay here. Oh, kitty. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do now? Chapter 5. It's been nearly a day since we found Mary. We're like a boat adrift on the ocean without a compass to guide us. Who knows where the currents will take us? It's so weird not reading this in Japanese anymore. Will we find salvation at the end? Hey, Mr. Gabu. <laughs> Looks like we wasted a whole day. I didn't... I don't remember that Hiro wanted to stay. Is it going to be like this every day? Wait, her mark didn't go away, was that it? If you're done checking in here, why don't we take a look outside? Mary said unnecessary contact with outsiders could keep speed the marks... speed up the marks curse. If I lose any more of my memories, I'm not sure I'll be able to function. For the past 10 days, the only other person I've spoken to is the convenience store clerk. Wait, why is he saying that and not thinking that? Ah, that explains why we've only had TV dinners and snack food to eat. Oh, because of her reaction. Sitting and waiting isn't going to accomplish anything. I'd rather not wind up forgetting my own name like you. Oh. Not that I completely believe that thing- that cursed thing is real. She raises her voice to hide how it shakes. She's still stubbornly sticking to her denial of existence of spirits and the mark. But I know she's already accepted it. Yeah, of course. After all, she went through it herself last night. Ghosts and curses don't exist. Why'd this have to happen to me? Oh! <laughs> New person? Hiro is startled at the sudden shock. So sudden knock. Visitor in the middle of the night. I don't need Mary to know it's a mark bearer. What is it? Sorry to impose on you so late. Oh, holy shit! A tall, thin man walks in. His skin is as white as a sheet and dark circles nearly swallow his eyes. It's almost like a dead person stands before us. You're Gabu and Hiro, right? I heard about you and the mark from Yasuoka before I came here. Ah, Yasuoka! Something about a Miss Zoo, too? Zoo sensei Sounds like he had a rough night. He seems to know Yasuoka. Maybe she's following through on her promise and sent him to help us. Well, let's get introductions done. I'm Shuji Daimon. I think you can guess my occupation. <laughs> sure do! Wearing this thing means I don't have to explain, thank goodness. He gestures to the stethoscope around his neck. What kind of business brings a doctor like you here? Daimon's eyes flicker over at the over at the suspicion in Hiro's tone. No need to be so defensive. I have the cursed scar, same as you, the mark. Oh, so they call it a scar, huh? He unbuttons his shirt to reveal a familiar mark on the left side of his chest. It just suddenly appeared one day. Though to be honest, I never thought it happened to me. Maybe it's punishment for being stupidly curious about it. Curious? Did you know about the mark before Yasuoka told you about it? Yeah, that's right. There's mention of a strange scar in my grandpa's records as a military physician. What? I did some personal research. Military physician's records would mean they'd be from the Second World War. More than 50 years ago. That doesn't add up. Rumors of the mark only started about a month ago. If it was mentioned in those records, the rumors would be much older. 
There's a reason for that. Patients with the symptoms were kept in a secret army laboratory. <gasps> Is that what's underneath the alleyway? Manhold Street. After the war, all top secret documents related to the lab were burned. Except the clinical records I found. Secret lab, huh? That's kind of hard to believe. Dr. Daimon, you don't mean to say the mark was used as some sort of biological weapon? Every country had at least one or two soldiers who were divinely possessed. People only call on gods when they're in trouble. It was the end of the war. They were backed in a corner. How unscientific. Do you think so, Mr. Gabu? Um, we can't deny it's possible. What? Are you serious? Yep. I can see why Yasuoka gave you, gave you her stamp of approval. The way you consider every, every possibility is indeed admirable. That open-mindedness must allow you to face the supernatural. However... I hope I'm recording this okay. It's been so long since I actually recorded something. It's hard to picture the mark being used as a weapon. Seems the 13th Army Engineering Lab was developing something. It was called the Cannon Soldier. Soldier. Cannon. Cannon Soldier. Cannon Soldier. That makes me think of the Bodhisattva Cannon. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 50 years ago, after the Buddha statues. It can't be. Bam 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 bam. Dr. Daimon, where is that lab? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Sorry. The documents my grandfather kept don't give any details about it. I see. Hey, Mr. Gabu. That 13th Army Engineering Lab. It's the shelter Zukawa went to. She pulls out her old map. I wanted to keep it secret, but as I'd rather not die from this mark, I'll tell you. This shows the entrances to the 13th Army Engineering Lab. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> In his excitement, he starts coughing. My apologies. Where'd you get that, Hiro? My grandfather passed six months ago. We were sorting his belongings. Isn't the idea of a secret lab just fascinating? So I thought I'd look into it. And then Miss Zu, Zukawa, stole it. I accidentally let it slip to her. She left strange experiments like that, so it probably stuck with her. Mm, my earring is stuck underneath the headphones. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. I thought as much, though. Whatever turned her into a monster is down in that secret lab. It's a pretty unsci unscientific line of reasoning. Yeah, using the occult to turn yourself into a monster is utter nonsense. But if there's a scientific method behind it, I'll have to consider it. I suppose that's just how she is. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Articulation. Was your grandfather involved in the lab in some way, Hiro? Oh, by the way, I am gonna do just 30 minute episodes of this. Um, I wanted to do like a full chapter, but I decided episodic is better anyway because it like flows better with the rest of the playthrough because the other episodes are all like 20, 25 minutes. Hmm, he could have been. All I know is he was an engineer with the rank of captain. Wait, hold on. You're both grandchildren of people involved with the engineering lab? And now both of you have the mark? Yeah, that would be correct. That and our lab coats are probably all Hito and I have in common. From what we understand, people with the mark appeared in the secret lab 50 years ago. There might be something there that'll help us find the truth behind the curse. That's also the origin of the Kanon soldier. A name that reminds me of a statue, the traces of Miss Zhu in the shelter. It might all be connected to the Buddha statues that were stolen from the H shrine. Mm hmm. Dr. Daimon gave us a lot of info. We'll have to thank Yasoka for introducing him to us. Yeah. The fates are indeed mysterious. Dr. Daimon, will you help us? Yes, of course. Just don't expect anything physical. Are you sick? You don't look so well. Yeah, something like that. I don't practice what I preach. Haha. <laughs> his dry laugh sounds like he's deflecting. He's abnormally thin for a man his age. 
It's possible that he's gravely ill. Maybe cancer. So, we're heading to the shelter? About that. We were stopped from going further by a locked door. That strange old man was there, too. I doubt he'll cooperate with us, though. It'll be different to break in from there. Difficult. Hmm. Where did you enter the shelter? A manhole on K Miyamachi North Road. Hmm, I see. She opens the map and studies it. Maybe there's another entrance? You're right, an entrance is there. But there seems to be another one. It's an M no South Alley. Have you tried going there? Nope. Not yet. Then let's go there. Hopefully we can get in. Nice! Should we go to Shuji? Daimon. Okay. Let's save that. Um, I'll do chapter 3. And then we go. South Alley. <laughs> so much faster than when I do Japanese. <laughs> I wonder how much longer the... The game is. You reach M no South Alley. It looks almost identical. Like the North Road, it's silent and empty. It's only one manhole though. Hard to believe a lab entrance is on a residential street like this. In any case, we should look around. Okay, who was that? Even though this is a residential area, the street is completely deserted. Mm, nothing. Oh. There are traces of the name of the store up by the roof. It looks like it's closed now. Well, there we go. There's a manhole. Unlike K. Miyamachi, this road only has one. Definitely looks suspicious. The manhole lid has a place, place to grip it, just like the one at K. Miyamachi. This has to be it. Still, this is strange. Why doesn't the public have any idea about this underground sh shelter? You would think the sewer department would, at least. A reasonable conclusion. We can't assume all the info on this place is being concealed by someone. It'd be trouble if it were made public, huh? Then it's people who used to be involved. Yeah, some are still alive today. Certain city representative used to be my grandfather's colleague. The Kujos may not be innocent either. Oh! Were they involved somehow? Oh, you don't know? After the war, the Kujo head was prohibited from public service. Oh. Because he assisted the army in some manner. So he could have been involved with the lab. If I had to make a guess, this man holds a Pandora's box for any dig dignitary, dignitary with a damaged reputation. I wonder what secrets we'll find. Still, you know a lot about it, considering. I'm interested in the lab myself, though not as much as Hiro, Hiro is. I've already done some research. But, this being such an important secret place, isn't it a little too easy to get in? True, they're not guarding it. The lid could have originally been locked or bolted shut somehow. This Miss Sue might have done away with those restraints. Maybe. When I lift the lid, a musty smell greets me. Ah, it smells familiar. Like the other entrance, the hole goes deep. Thankfully, there's a ladder here too. This reminds me of when I was a kid. Let's get going, Gabu. Why does it remind you of when you were a kid? What did you do in sewers? Diamond and I descend into the dark world hidden beneath H City. What awaits us down in that darkness? Will we find the truth we're seeking? Or a hell smeared with blood? Chapter 5 Kanon Soldier. Nice. That's awesome. I'm into it. Let's go. The sight that greets us at the bottom is the same as what we saw at K. Miyamachi. The looming concrete walls and the suffocating stagnant air. We weren't wrong to assume that the two places are connected. <coughs> oh no, he coughing. This is not a place someone with bad lungs like me should be. Is that an army song? 
Hearing that, I feel worse. It's been 50 years, so there's no way a radio or phonograph is still playing. Something supernatural has to be at work. It's so easy to fall back and blame things on the supernatural now. I mean, it could be just a dude that's there down here, the hobo. Gotten too used to this occult world. Hmm, I see. I don't have any spiritual powers, so that kind of thing is beyond me. If you say so, then I believe you. Let's look at that. Blood stain. Run my fingers over it and realize that something is stuck on the floor. I keep scratching at it until it starts to crease and I manage to pull it up off the floor. Oh, it tells me. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Anything up there? Nothing up there. Is that a handprint? Hmm, not really. There's the ladder if we want to go back up. Let's go forward first. There's my map. Okay, let's go back first. Is back just exiting? No. Let's do that first. Aha, I knew it. There's been a there was a poster there somewhere. Maybe that's the map. Pitch black stains. Is this blood? Seems so. Still, there's an entirely too much of it, like a blood bag burst. Doesn't that other thing bother you too? Of course it bothers me. I imagine we're on the same page. Looks like something was posted here. There's a clearly defined clean space on the walls if something had been there. Looks like it avoided being sprayed on with blood because something was originally posted here. Some kind of poster or bulletin? There's unfortunately no way to know. Hmm. We can maybe find something and then... Stains seem to be old blood. See if it matches up with the thing in the wall. It crackles and breaks off in into flakes when I run my fingers over it. Let's see. Let's just go through it all. There's a door that we can do. And that's about it. Thick iron door. He thick. The keyhole isn't rusted. I could open it if I had a key. Okay, that's it. Mm, oh, another one. Stain seems to be old blood. Crackles and breaks off into flakes. Okay, it's the same. Can we just look at it? I open my eyes wide and stare at the white space that might have been a poster. I only end up drying, my, drying out my eyes. <laughs> Trail of blood leads to the ladder at the entrance. Is someone trying to escape? Oh, maybe. Maybe someone was fleeing something, yeah, and died. Looks like an emergency light. Place is abandoned. Has the power generator been running for all these years? 50 years? Well, someone has to have been repairing it and refilling it then, in that case. Okay, we've come to a crossing. Always go left. Oh, another door. When I step in view of an iron door that appears before me, the air clearly shifts. Goosebumps rise. A presence is, appro presence is approaching. There's an incessant beeping, like from a telegraph. Turn back. I haven't really saved. I turned on my healer and go back the way we came without looking back. Doesn't seem like the presence is following. We managed to escape. Good. Record. Uh, yeah, same one. Oh. So, back. Now we're gonna check it out, because now we saved, so we're good. Mm-hmm. Keep going. I sure I can keep moving forward. Oh shit! I kind of want to just use a guide for these. I feel like with the tests, like there was no way I knew the answers. Beeping becomes gradually louder, as if it's trying to tell me something. Oh, I don't know what that means. Should I look it up? 
Let me look up Morse. I'm not looking up a guide, I'm just looking up Morse code. Morse code alphabet. Images. Okay. Stash dot. There's an N. Dash dot dot dash. Is X. NX? Unless it's dash dot dot and then nothing? That's D. XD! <laughs> uh, what'd I say? ND? Hmm. Could be NDT. Not really. The spacing isn't really clear, so I don't know. Maybe NX. Sequence just keeps repeating. This code, what in the world does it mean? Oh my god, how the fuck should I know? Probably Buddha. Oh, I did it! Soul! Wait, so was it four letters? Hear a quiet voice. Point to your soul. Your heart? Stomach sounds good. No, wrong! I was like, that's so weird, that must be it! <laughs> Now I'm gonna die. Darkness tightens around my throat like a noose. Without oxygen, my brain instantly shuts down. Should've just done heart. What's the obvious one? Decide again. Okay, I tried heart, but died there too, so it's gotta be head, apparently. I wonder if there's a file that we can read somewhere in here. Point to your soul. How about my head? <laughs> Tail. Tail in my face. Okay, what else are you gonna throw at me? Oh, that was it. Beeping suddenly stops. Survived. Seriously? Amazing. A real supernatural event. Diamond seems pleased. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm sure this will happen again, but there's no need to tell him that. Is it safe now? Yeah, probably. Hmm, then let's keep moving. Quiet was in front of the monitor. I was like, Quiet, I gotta see. <laughs> Opened the door and went inside. Oof. What is it? Ah, okay. The air in this room is musty. At first glance, I'd say it's part of a medical facility. What the fuck is on the floor there? Looks like an operating room. What the fuck is on the left bottom left there? The smell must be... Is that an old body? Gabu, sorry, but can you shine the light over there? What is it? Shine the flashlight as directed. I find a corpse. Daimon crouches down and begins to study it. Wow, it's pretty old. You might be better off having an archaeologist or anthropologist look at this. Daimon skillfully examines the body. When they're done, they stand up again. Corpse is odd. Extremely odd. Cervical vertebrae is severed. But the cut's a mess. Some kind of small blade object did it, most likely. Though it clearly wasn't cut with a su surgical tool. I cannot even imagine why anyone would do something so cruel. The head was severed with a tool, huh? It's too old. The corpse isn't enough. Someone should have left behind records. Might be wise to search the room. Yeah, good idea. Okay, let's do it. See what we can find. What? Excuse me? Looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. The dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. Cut by the neck is jagged. Must have been cut with some kind of tool. Damn. Open the wire mesh door and peek inside, but I don't see anything. Go to the closed door and see a paper stuck, stuck on the back side. Nice. 
Soul power. Boop, 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 boop. Light bulb is flickering weakly. How is it even doing that 50 years later? A metal cabinet. That hobo dude must be looking after everything. Some of the doors are open, but most are locked tight. Hmm. Search the ones that are open. Find a notebook titled Research Records and an Army Short Sword. Letters in a notebook have faded, but I can still read it. The experiment mir miraculously succeed this divine protection. The Yura statue originated from H Shrine, created by line statue mark makers. Using chisel donated donated by the same family, sever a head. Tool together becomes the key. Finally, our dearest wish. Hmm. Nothing else written. Okay. Chisel. Does it mean those used for sculpting? Maybe. Most likely. It's hard to believe, but did they actually use that to sever, sever the heads? It's unbelievable doing something like that. Cabinet with a glass door. Can you open it? Open it and search around. Nice. Find bells attached to a handle and a notebook with a black cover. It's titled Disposal Vet Management Record. Flip the cover open. Dispose 200 super dimension. Suddenly iron door half spiritualized. Have hypothesized focused mythical forces need sacred object to race. Safety valve release code diamond. Okay, that's good to know. Nothing else written. Diamond. Okay. What in the world are these notes going on about? Disposal? Half spiritualization? I don't understand half of these words. Plus, those bells I found don't fit this place at all. Close the notebook and put it in my bag. At least it doesn't stink. Just then, something tangles around my hand. Woo! What is it? A thin thread. Almost seems to be like human hair. Glitters pale gold in the light. What? The mark starts sucking at my blood. I ignore it and instead stare at the shining hair as if being pulled in. It's odd, but I get the real feeling that... This moment... It's here. This place. I... I've been here before. <gasps> Dude! Wait. What? A few hours left until death closes in. What the fuck? Mumble, mumble, mumble. Well, in that case, I'm gonna cut the episode here, because this is like a good spot, a couple hours left. We should probably be able to do one more episode then with the showdown, and then that would be chapter five? I don't know if it's actually that fast, but I mean, this seems like a good spot. I did half an hour, so I hope you guys like it. It's in English. It's so much easier for me to record. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I hope you like the way I read stuff. And, um... I'll continue this very soon, so look out for episode 37 soon, I guess. Thank you guys, I'll see you later. Bye!